We only have 85 electoral votes left hanging in the balance here, and those are, those are the ones that are going to decide this. Particularly, we're looking at Wisconsin. Wisconsin, uh, we, we did this scenario. This is, this is just a play scenario. We're playing around. See what would happen if Clinton lost Wisconsin. If she lost Wisconsin, and we can't forget about Arizona either. Arizona's still not in yet either. But if, if Trump wins Wisconsin, Arizona, Hillary Clinton would have to still win Pennsylvania. That's not in yet. Still win Michigan. That's not in yet. Still win uh, New Hampshire and Nevada. Neither of those are in yet. And even if she won those four states, that gets her to 269. But guess what? Donald Trump's at 269 too. This race could, could be decided by two congressional districts. One in Maine, that second congressional district in Maine that I mentioned earlier, that might be Trump territory. We have to see. That's not in yet. And then there's a congressional district in Nebraska, in the Omaha area. If, if Clinton can win that, that could tip it as well. But, right, but giving those two, if they split those, if, if Clinton gets the Nebraska one, if Trump gets the main one, they're stuck 269, 269, House of Representatives decides the next president of the United States. Well, we know where the House of Representatives lies with Paul Ryan as Speaker of the House. So what I really want to talk about there on that map, though, is New Hampshire. Still yet to come in. In the numbers that we're seeing, do you think this is something that is likely to stay blue tonight? How close is Donald Trump? Yeah, so this is a close race. This is it's a, a, not enough in yet for us to really get a feel for whether or not that uh, how worried the Clinton campaign should be about New Hampshire. But this is a state that dealt Hillary Clinton a blow during the primaries. This was a Bernie Sanders state. A lot of independents here. Also a lot of young voters who voted, who voted for Bernie Sanders who weren't that excited about Hillary Clinton. And there was always this question of whether or not they would just stay home or if they would vote for Hillary Clinton, or if some of the uh, New Hampshire voters, more um, uh, libertarian-leaning, independent uh, New Hampshire voters, would actually go to Trump. And that's still to be seen. We're, we're watching the, the precincts come in. Still not quite enough for us to get a good feel of, but it's close.